Somewhat. <laughs> Somewhat better. have no personal control over outside noises. That is the truth. So. Ah, thank goodness. Okay. On. Large. Oh, bless. That's so much better. Was the old thought? Hmm. Which one's better than my eyes? This one's looks okay. But off is okay as well. And there's all space though, so yeah. That's gonna be good. Controls that I'm gonna forget. Walkie, move, map, pause, radio, talk, and interact. Okay. Tune that change channel quickly. I'm gonna have to go back to this a lot. Play and exit. Alright, cool. New game. I hope I could be a good person in this one. Is this 
this another... I can't hear what you're what you're saying. taking that extra half of a sleeping pill tonight or I really am here and have no clue why. Usually that's it. Mm, any clues? Interacting. Nothing here. Can't hear anything on the walk yet. I gotta keep it going. Uh, is anyone up there? Oh, it's an interdimensional brick. That's it. Go up. Oh, I gotta use B again. Oh, it's basically. What is this thing? Excuse me, who... who are you? Bury me. Uh, Where you can't see water. I dozed off for a second. Hey, hi. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. Mm -hmm. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, Yay. Welcome to your first day on the job. 8 p.m. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so 
Forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just gonna be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina has been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Uh, got it. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hey, I thought they closed down the seafood place oh, out here. I didn't mean it. Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's... I think it's under health code probation or something. Anyways, Riley, where was I? Oh yeah, the equipment. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Um, like how to use it, generally? I, I could actually use a refresher, if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel 7. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's, let's hop over to channel 5 so you can see it working. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. Bye. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. You there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night, unless I'm using the bathroom or taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Yep. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Well, explore for a bit. See if I see anything weird. Up and down, up and down. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Huh. A great way to get possessed. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. You must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cape. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Oh, uh, okay, but uh, what about the climbing gear? Don't I, uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight that doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Sorry, Riley, uh, one sec. 
Is everything all right? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go. But uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. So, oh, as that you can see, nice there's a lot map. of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Awesome. I want to adventure a bit. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. It's a big map. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. That's all on there, huh? Gym teacher wanted, high school, degree not required. Well, if this doesn't pan out, summer's off is always nice. <laughs> Order three large pizzas at Zuki's Pizza and get two half off. Why not just add one free pizza? And why is this making me so angry? Missing kids posters. They used to really freak me out. At least when I was a kid. As long. Yeah. Um, is is anyone here? Over? Even need to wear crap for the outlier. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something. Okay, well, no sense, nothing is really. There. Oh, that's a lot of fun, this guy. He is wearing it now. Community center, and he's up there. Oh, wait, how many paths can it take to get there, though? Oh, uh, oh, that's the most logical one, I guess.
kasi to get any signals Oh, he was up there. Down there. Lucy. No. Missing. Lucy yeah. Pasterson, age it's seven, right born so. 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. But are you Jacob? Jacob Summers? Oh, hey, yeah, I, I'm Jacob. Which makes you uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but... Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, though, I have no idea. <laughs> can we can we try something real quick? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure, what the hell? It better oh, not run into him. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. It better not. You break better be up. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, <laughs> thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. Oof. Sorry, dude. That sucks. <laughs> ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? This is Evelyn. Over. Of course. Oh, I think that's our uh, bosses doing a check-in. Want to answer that? Riley, are you there? Pick up, please. Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, Jacob. Um, give us a second here, Evelyn. Eh, may maybe more than a second, to be honest. My truck's misbehaving. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over? Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. It shouldn't burn you too bad. We're going to Camber Cave? That's... it's not far. It's, it's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Hey, Riley, I'm strapped for space, so, uh, could you grab the transmitter? It's right there on the blanket. Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule.
Oh, nice. One tonight and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Hmm, that was neat. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Mm, before I finally get some dinner? I well, don't I think I have any questions, no. All right, guys, good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Okay, over and out. Ah, I love uh, Riley, real voice. quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. It's right there. Oh, neat, neat. I love the pickup that music. Oh, thanks. It tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. The tune it to 93.7. Uh, yeah, okay. Just give me a sec. This is David Rapp. Bottom of the now 10 for the Comedic Crayfish. Still all tied up. I used to watch Crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. <laughs> but uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. Visiting Walla Walla and Eaters. So, uh, Evelyn. <laughs> She's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Eh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but, but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well... Do you remember junior year? Mrs. Alsmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. <laughs> you know, Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Evelyn won't get into it? Won't get into what? What do you mean? Well, it, it's not an official part of their study, some of this. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audio-visual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. Nice. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Audio-visual phenomena? Like, uh, what? Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It didn't make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or whatever. The effects, though, that radio effects, has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, I'm sorry, I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techie. Oh, that's fine, dude. But I've been talking my head off ever since we met. God, okay. What's, uh, what brought you back? Is it temporary, or just got homesick? I, I just needed a reset, I think. I've been, in hindsight, I haven't really planted roots in any one place or in any one thing or in anybody, even, really. And it's not like I can get away with that forever. Especially now. Oh, no, I hear you. I'm, I'm kind of the opposite. I never left. Never really explored or... I, I mean, I've been on trips and stuff, but nowhere else really stuck like Kamina. But you stayed because you like it, right, Kamina? I am content. But you'd never know how content you'd be if you did things differently.
radio station with your fearless host, Maria Lopez. I'm pulling the overnighter tonight because Kyle, my partner in crime, got sick. Or at least claims he got sick. I know he also just finished rebuilding his Akai 81 8 track and is probably just recording different talks around town. Anyways, I'll be your guiding light tonight, my lovely little moths. So, let's kick the next hour off with another song, right? Here's a something, I don't know. on family residence. If I didn't use one of my mom, huh. she'd rise from her grave and drop her headstone oh. in school, so... My hip flexor's gonna be mad at me tomorrow. Her has her own version of Out of Oil. She is no different. But neither am I. So this is my version of my mom's version of her dad's version of his sister. <laughs> it's, it's been a tough season for the mud bucks. They called it a rebuilding year, but looking at the crayfish win loss record. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Just in case you didn't know. Oh, uh, interesting. So, uh, be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. But you seem okay. Just take one step at a time. some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. That's definitely one of those freaky ones. To this evening's theme of uh, the air dramatic reading. These half hour performances of one act plays are sponsored by Headley Textiles. When you need fabric, make sure it's Headley. Tonight's performance is from a <laughs> bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? Yeah, yeah. I just need to rest my feet. I sound like I'm 80, but... No. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. That'll be considerate. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six and we were coming up to the entrance to the, uh, the park and I saw something off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip and fall a little. And my dad, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. Yeah, these woods will kill you if you let them. These woods will kill you? What does that mean? Oh, you know, 
we have a pretty big black bear population, so not that and oh, other stuff. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Right, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. So he's all climbing there. Yeah. <laughs> Hours, sunrise to sunset. It used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. What the hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call everyone. Call everyone at a bit of an impasse. Sorry, this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. Oh, that's fine. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know, stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh... Get creative. Over and out. Oh, don't I make a jump there? Fire boy, yeah. Yeah. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Heh, <laughs> never would. I don't even know what it is. I'll have to look out there. <laughs> Let's see. I asked, what are you in for? Immortality. That's the sentence. What's the crime? What do you mean? How did you get here? Well, when a mother and a father love each other very much. Okay, okay, I understand. If you don't want to talk, then you don't want to talk. I'm pretty excited, though. This is my first time. I, I think. It's difficult to remember. I mean, things that I thought were important seem impartial, impractical, inconsequential, and matters. Things that I didn't care much about are now of vital importance. Mm. Let's see if there's going to do anything creepy. Uh, 
Rio. This is what I'm saying. What does it feel to you the way it does to me? To disciples like me, perhaps like us. Is it fear? Or is it oxygen? Freedom? Life? Walk with me, disciple. Deeper into the dark. Okay. We invented calculators way back when Shakespeare was around. We don't need to know our tables. Okay, everyone. Welcome to the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. With some arbitrarily... Whoops. Uh, hello? Hi. Uh, this is a pre-recorded so... message. You've reached the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Tracks approved by Principal Haddish. Our advice line is now open, so bring on those questions. I'll happily steer you. Oops. Sure. Hey, uh, is this the Kamina High School radio station? This is Riley, first time caller, first time listener. Uh, can I get some advice? Over. general life coaching or uh, something more specific? Will I be good at this? Am I going to finally be actually good at something? Um, yes. I, I mean, I don't personally know you, but yeah, I, I think so. Here's some real advice, though. If you see three teenagers at the docks tonight, running around with radios, wearing masks, tell them Maria thinks they're assholes. Also, call back if you want to talk about anything. Like, anything at all. You're the first fresh caller in a week. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Please call. Sweet. With the dogs. Hey, what? Okay, I travel there. Um, okay, wait. Um, what was that? That's 
on the end. This or nothing. Yeah. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Coming with? Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Don't sweat it. I used to climb the kitchen table before I knew what it was called. Come open up the gate after your topside? Oh, just trying to see.
Oh, made it. Get here. Well, when a mother and a father... Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Girl, you're not scared of the boo boo in the air. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Uh, sure. Yeah, whatever you guys need. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner, the USS Canaloa? Uh, which story? The USS Canaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire. That we accidentally bombed our own sub. Mm -hmm. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story not hitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Uh, go on. What? Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, yes. Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Canaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. Oh, I don't mean to give you goosebumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain. Impossible to explain, even. So, hey, you tell me a downed submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. <laughs> but I guess I'm not used to night hikes. Oh, agreed. I'm freezing.
a little weather worn, but this is nice. They used to have one that was corn operated, but there were things up here. And someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes. Oh, know, come on, chicken. Monster. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. We don't usually get skies like this. Right. Usually yeah, you get skies like that. It doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Things look completely creepy. Okay, so the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Man, you're really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. Oh my gosh, shaking, please. Oh. Yeah, it's working great. I, uh, I know mean, the whole place is going to get possessed. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good, good idea. Hey, it's going to be creepy as hell, though. Right? We should probably give her a Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Is she going to get this? Oh, uh, hold up one second. Yeah, right okay. on me, good. This is right a little me. weird. A little weird? Guys, tell me, what color is the little light blinking? Red. Because... Uh... Jesus! It's possessed. Wait, what is that? Do you see that? Over Edwards Island? Is she Riley, right here? do you know... Is, is this... Is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? Something... Riley! My boy, you were even getting clicked. No! No, 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 no! God, I can't believe this! Oh, the portal! Something's wrong with it! Oh, I was almost there! What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Just get to the portal. You want me like a song? Wait. There's, there's someone here. Who, Who is she? She did something. She, whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? Hey, where are we? What? What? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Oh, answer, please. Oh, everybody did it. Loopy, loopy. Oh, uh, sorry. I think I dozed off for a second. Hey, hi! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? Over. I'm Evelyn. I think I'm, I, I might be sick or something. I'm just I'm not feeling very well right now. Sorry, are you not able to perform your duties, you don't think? Or... Evelyn, don't you feel the slightest bit... Ah, damn it. This is Hey, wait, right. kid. You, you Didn't I see you before? Away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This what? isn't for you. Just, who are you? What are you doing? Just leave it alone. Don't... Don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back! Hey, wait! Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Hmm. Riley, answer, please. Over. No, I... Hey, hi! Thank God! I didn't know 
know if you'd be in range. I wanted to tell you that, actually, man, have you ever gotten a deja vu? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I, yes, thank you. Uh, are you starting to maybe uh, remember that we've gone over this multiple times? Riley, uh, are you still there? You're getting burned. But our antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow we will. Ruined. Well, 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 well. oh, it's her again. She keeps trying to...
Jacob? Jacob, you around? Oh. <sighs> Guess not. Maybe he's back at his truck? <sighs> I gotta find him. This is good. <laughs> Walkie-talkie looks ugh, cracked. I don't think this thing's gonna work anymore. God, what happened? I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll... she better know what the hell is going on. Oh, I don't find your radio anymore. some serious days I go. Is he down there or is he back at the spot? I will be in there. There are tiring efforts to sustain and increase the usefulness of those times. Oh, the radio is there. Without an observer. Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. I don't know what the hell is going on. Ah, ah Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter... There was a, oh, wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that? Yeah, that, that, that happens. That, oh man. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. You seem alive, which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I am many, <laughs> many miles from feeling okay. Yeah, me too. Well, wait, are, are we talking physically or mentally? Yeah. Ah! yeah. Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's... it's Evelyn. Jesus. Oh, man, thank God, it's only Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't... we don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys, I over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. 
You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing is right being now. Possessed. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing while well, we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Over. Ah, uh, this... You, you, you don't really know what you're asking us to do here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just do it fast, Riley. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. Damn right. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really... Let me know when you get there. She can't Over now. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. Great. This should work. Uh, thanks. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But, but it seems extremely Dangerous. bad, is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So, I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters. Right? Man, Jacob, I'd I really love to believe that. Well, you should. If only for the next hour or so. It helps, trust me. because his knees are killing him. We're gonna find some, uh, I don't know, big towels? Necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity, desperation, pick a card, any Wait, wait. Violet, Listen. You there? That's their transmitter knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We we need to repair it. We Hey, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but time and space doesn't seem to be working properly anymore. So, can one of you please tell me what is going on exactly? Oh no, Riley. Ah, it's you. You know, they did mention something about a stranger coming with a shield she thinks is a sword. I didn't think it would be a 45-year-old with a transmitter. But I guess that's my fault for assuming things. Um, I'm not 45, all right? How old are you? Old enough. Charlie, are you still there? Yeah. Head to the ranger station. You can get the receiver there. We need it to fix the antenna, okay? Oh, and Riley? Riley Poverly, right? How's the new job? You like it? Is it working now? Wow, I'm really impressed. You took a picture and reverse image searched. Awesome. Technology, right? Not exactly. I know, because they never lie to me. Watch for the stars. They will be your guide. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound young. Let's just focus on the stuff we can control. Like, getting any data we can from the transmitter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, 
part two. If you look at a bolt. Let's let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. I am worried about those teams. Come on. Yep, right behind you. Let's go. Are you there? We're uh, at the transmitter. Over. Crap. Okay. This uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? A giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but it just Riley, this is going to sound. I, I don't know, but this is all I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She, no one really believed her, but she knew. Even 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Jacob, what are you talking about? Wait, Riley, do you, do you hear that? There's, is that? You don't hear that? Well, it's it sounds it's like, like it, it sounds like, Closing. You gotta go home. Hey! 
Anyone know Dead. her? Anyone friends with this woman? Who's home? Anyone? No? Do I have to call somebody? Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm... This whole thing isn't because I'm just... It's time to get up. Let's go. There's nothing to figure out. Night's over, okay? Hey, wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. Party transmitter done. I just claim the equipment. I, are, are uh, we wait, in? wait, Jacob, where, is, where are, are we? we? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. Yes, please. But don't. first, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, uh, Evelyn, I'm in Garland. Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, this is Evelyn. I'm at work. Who's this? Over. Oh, shit. Uh, this is Riley. I I've been talking to you all night. Over. Yeah, sorry. I don't know Riley. Riley. And don't call Maritime Emergency Dispatch unless you have a real emergency. Over and out. Uh oh, is it time, Joe? I'm on the road. <laughs> Maria, hey, are you by your desk? Know anything about Garland? Over. Hey. Hi. Yeah, I've been to that garbage dump. Are you there right now? It stinks, right? Kind of smells like a vacuum cleaner that's never been emptied. They taught us in history class why that is, but that was last year, so I don't know anymore. I actually have a ghost story about the town if you want to hear it. It's not that exciting. Oh, sure. I got nothing but time, Maria. <laughs> Let's hear it. Over. I'm detecting sarcasm, but I'm choosing to ignore it. Okay, so like 60 years ago, maybe more, two teenagers from Kamina High wanted to get married. Oh, looks like a climbing anchor. Oh, well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. No, I messed up the... I didn't mean to do that. Maria, hey, are you by your desk? N know anything about Garland? Over. Sure. I got nothing but time, Maria. Let's hear it. Over. I'm detecting sarcasm, but I'm choosing to ignore it. Okay. So, like, 60 years ago, maybe more, two teenagers from Kamina High wanted to get married. Their parents were against the whole thing, so they had a little ceremony in the Garland Church. Just by themselves, late at night, in secret. They cut their hands and said some stuff, did as much as they could without a real priest. And the girl. She asked if the boy had some flowers. He said he didn't. He left to get some, and while he was gone, a police cruiser accidentally ran over him in the dark. Damn. I'm butchering this story. But it was so late the poor cop didn't see him. Killed him cool. instantly. The 
the police yeah. covered it up, oh. saying he fell into the gorge. But now, late at night, around the old church, you can sometimes see a young man out there dressed in a cheap the suit, church. picking dead flowers for his blushing new bride. Creepy, right? I don't know if I 100% believe it, but... Oh, that's a good one. I'll let you know if I see him. Over. Yeah. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I... I, I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. Jacob, what do you know? What is going on? Well, I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young, and I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed, or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. Oh. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. I know it can. You, wait, when you were a little kid, you were friends with an old lady who lived on Edwards Island? I know it sounds strange, but let's just see if if her work helps first. And then uh, I, I can give you the footnotes, you know? It's not far. You were... Oh, that's so late. The cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that, uh, that sucks. Yeah, it would've been nice for them to have met each other a little younger, but I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work, but it's not like a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. Damn. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. I like it. It's like if a tree fork could grow up. Hey, thanks. I try to keep it ship shape. All the stuff that we need is inside. So just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do we need to review doors again? No, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're... Oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. Hey, it happens. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember her, the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Once again, I had no prior knowledge what our last guest was going to do. I'm really that... just trying to fill the time spot no. here and we can't play every song I like because of certain restrictions. So, if Principal Haddish is listening, I did not ask him to do that. I just asked him to tell a joke. He's a... His cousin's a stand-up at, at least... Maybe? Or, you know. No. He at least performs at open mics. I know that. And he said he had a really good joke that went on for a while. Now, I don't know what kind of joke he thought that was. The opening was kind of going somewhere. I, I think we all can say that. We were all intrigued at the beginning. 
Bottom line, she'll never be on again. So please stop calling to complain. Uh, right. Now I have to clean up the mess he left. Give me ten minutes. I'll ask. Uh. Oh, and you're listening to the Camina High School radio station with your host, Maria Lopez. Hey, can we just get in from here? If my truck was here with the garage door opener, sorry. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. surprised. I need to get up there. Hmm. This is going to take a while. Now can I use another? This should reach the window. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, you silly sweet man. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. too soon than a minute too late. The waiting be hell, I am to wait. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. Uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. Oh god, I could go for a pizza right now. Of course. Hey, you there? Come let me in. Thanks. How'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again. God. I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. <laughs> uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates, windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hang on. You got a really weird phone call a minute ago. 
If it was a prank, I definitely didn't get the joke. Oh, really? Uh, what'd they say? Or was it just like a recording or something? You want a boat, just send us $5,000. They were worried about being late? Uh, I don't know. It was weird. Huh. Well, probably a wrong number. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is it. One of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone. Are they still out there or wherever? Maybe. I used to pick up radio signals that sounded, you know, sailory, but it's been a few years. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. Okay. Okay, I think I buy this as much as any other plausible so enough plausible. sounding explanation. Just look, this one... She told me about ghosts, about people she cared about. A woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? Yeah, how, uh, how did her friend Anna die? She didn't really get into the details. Just that during an experiment, something went wrong. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever it's to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. All right, so all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? That portal over on Edwards Island, whoever did that, yeah, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But uh, just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, hmm. Huh. Jacob, not in your head. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's, uh, she, she says that. Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. That first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did. Which is definitely what we want to do, because you know, Maggie says, she wrote here, that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. Well, that's what happened. Man. But aren't we out of transmitters? How, how would we do this? The general store is holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... They should. At least that's what Evelyn said. So I know the owner. And I know where the key is. So that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that... It should work sounds like something that makes just enough sense that i'll go along with it until it doesn't work that's about the level of confidence i'm at too <laughs> okay uh, uh, okay okay <clears throat> let's get back to the general store get those transmitters and gear i just hope we're right riley riley are you there pick up right now over oh it's evelyn Here's we should evelyn. loop her in Hey, Evelyn, do you, uh, see or, like, know how insane this is getting? Over. Riley! Riley, thank God! Okay, 
you're okay. Everything's okay. Okay, that's good. The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! Some old lady's journals Jacob had lying around. What? It just, just don't worry. We know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. But this is better. Okay, let's go. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's very vague. The next day of will will be rare. Jacob, sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no, not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <coughs> sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... Oh, okay. Good to know. I will keep an eye out. Is it right to go? No, it's not. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. I just want to see if we can... Sorry, I can't do anything until you get the general start. Yep, definitely can. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go back because as much as I want to. Here for a minute. 